The Sparkling Brook by Margaret Goldsmith. <laughs> Rushing and melodious is what it says, and it's from the virtuosic performer book one. So it's designed to go quite quickly. Uh, and a nice use of the pedal too. This piece is very pattern based. The right hand um, has an A section that uses a broken C major chord, so C, E, and G, and then a broken C minor chord, so C, E flat, and G. So a good warm up is just to block the chords. You don't have to pull your fingers in. I'm just doing that for show, just so you can see the C, E, G chord. And then moving to the C, E flat and G, one, three, five. So once you get comfortable between these two chords, um, the A section material becomes straightforward. So the left hand carries, has this sort of accented detached melody. And then under the, under the pedal, you get this really interesting quality because it's not held through, so you get a really sort of percussive yet sustained quality in the tone. So the left hand melody in the A section goes from the C down to the B with finger two, down to the A with finger three, and then down to the G with finger four. And it plays on the downbeat, the first beat, and we're in three, four times, so it ends up being one, our rhythm and you can see I'm breaking the C major chord up and down. So I'm going to play it through and then I'm going to count it through so you can play along. So the left hand starts on the C, right hand breaks the chord, left hand goes to the B, then to the A, then to the G. particular line of music, there's four bars of music, happens um, uh, in a couple of places in the piece. So it's good to practice it. So you practice that. Uh, you can stop the video uh, and then restart it. The next line of the piece, uh, the right hand breaks up the C minor chord that we talked about, just the way we did with the C major chord. And the left hand melody now goes from the B flat with finger two to the A, back up a step to the B flat, and then skipping down to finger four on the G. So that's our melody in the left hand on those downbeats of the first beat of each bar. B flat, A, B flat, G. And we alternate with the right hand just the way we did in the first line. us in one two three one two and you can stop the video here um, and practice that with the counting in mind of course next section is uh, a pattern Starting on the F with the left hand, finger five, skipping up a third to the A flat in the in the middle of the three black three black key group with finger three. And then the right hand plays C D F D. So we
then the left hand plays the A flat to the C. And the right hand plays D, F, G, F. And we put that pattern back to back. So one, two, three. it happens three times exactly like that. One, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and three and second time. Three and one and two and three and last time. One and two and three and And you can practice that through either before this part or you can just tack this one on the end. We just play the C in the left hand to the D and then F, G, F, G. It's just a little ending um, before we move up the octave. After those three times. Then we move up the octave. I'm going to play um, the same pattern from the A flat that we just did when we started on the A flat in the previous section. This has a little ritardando in it so you can slow down because we're going back to our A section material an octave higher this time. So I'm going to play through this B section in its entirety for you now that you know the whole thing, starting from the F. One, two, three. material which I'll play through um, but we're an octave higher. So there's one tiny adjustment to the end of uh, the repeat of this A section and it it's just a repositioning of the right hand back to the middle C spot. Okay so you're just gonna Practice this crossover. And coming back to that C, you can hold off on that C. I'm just playing that C so you can hear where it's leading. And we're going to do the A section repeat, the octave higher, but then with this crossover. So one, two, three. One and two and three and one. come to a variant on the A section material. So we're still going down by step in the left hand. We're still outlining a C major chord, but when we get to the G, we're going to shift down to this B flat major chord. The notes are B flat, D, and F. So when we get to the G, we're going to play B flat, You can see it down the octave. One.
section. You can probably stop the video here. And we're going to do the very final section. We're starting on uh, low C. We're going up a fifth. And the right hand is going to be right next door on that A. And it's going to play A, C, D, E. So we got our fifth from C to G. A, C, D, E. And then we do it up the octave. So three times, and then we have our fifth again, way up here. So we're an octave higher than middle C, and then we're playing this triad. I don't know if you can see the whole thing on that E there, but A, C, and E up here, and we're alternating left, right, left, right, left, right, and then left, just between those two elements. So the A, the A minor chord up at the top, I'm going to move the video so you can see the camera. So keep in mind, here's middle C. And we're up here. And there's our A minor chord, A, C, and E at the top. So we alternate. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. We have a full measure, three beats of rest. And then right here at the bottom, we're going to go way back down. The fun thing about this, we get to use a big chunk of the piano. I'm just going to do a handheld bit here at the end. So here's middle C, low C, bass C. We've got our fifth from C to G. And then with your right hand, you're going to play this E, G, and A chord. And they're going to happen at the same time. Okay. And that's the end of our piece. So it's going to sound like this. Uh, Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, two, three, rest, two, three, final chord. And that is the sparkling brook. Have fun with that.